Hello and welcome to Kedrick Builds. We're back with another episode of what is this uh, mech farming game, the Lightyear Frontier. And as you can see, we've slept through the night and we're getting all of this stuff for having unlocked a zone. And it looks like that is going to unlock some additional points on that cool building we found. Morning. Hope you had a good night's sleep. I'm really thankful that you're here, you know. Sorry if it's a bit out of nowhere, but, well, I didn't realize how lonely I was until there was someone else. I had nobody to talk to but myself. And trust me, I'm a terrible listener. Thanks for helping me get my thoughts in order. Well, there you have it. Uh, but yeah, it looks like that ruins that we found, I think it was back in this area, has something that's probably going to get unlocked once you clear all the zones on the map. Now, for the demo, I don't think we're going to be able to get into any other zones as my guess, but uh, we're going to keep playing here and find out how this goes. I'm very excited uh, by this game. It's been a lot of fun, and we're going to just keep exploring today. Last time, we unlocked the ability to build the Merchant Landing Pod. And uh, that's my plan today, is to find the resources we need for this merchant landing uh, thing. And it looks like we need the red crystals, which I think we just saw in that little preview uh, of the zone for unlocking it. So let's go over there and see if we can find some of those resources. Uh, I am over encumbered though, so we're probably going to need to deal with that first. Now our noxious spores that we, or noxious pods that we've got are unlocking this noxious spore recipe, which is something that's gonna be used in these power cores that we don't have. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use all of those. And that's gonna unlock power cores, which is gonna be fun. Let's see if I can pick up the rest of these off of the ground and make some of these power cores. This was one of the things that we were waiting on to be able to make better things for our, uh, whatchamacallit, our mech here. So that's exciting. Well, let's just run back over here, waddle, I suppose, and see what's what. It looks like all of our construction stuff in the menu just uh, got reset for some reason. Not sure what's up with that. We'll just blame the demo mode. I've got one power core for that and one power core for this. I need this Ravage Oil, so they must be one of the resources available in that zone that we just cleared out. Uh, so we're going right. to focus on that Let's today to and see if we can uh, finish unlocking all the stuff in the demo here. Now, I think last episode I asked what, or I made a comment about what that green thing up in the sky was. And then when I was editing, I realized that's the uh, AI thing that keeps talking to us. It must be the satellite that's up in the air, which is cool. And here's a Ravage. I can suck these up. We're going to be able to grow our Ravages. That's awesome. And then I see some of these crystals over here. I think I didn't see any of this stuff before because we needed to restore the, cis the biome and then let it all... Uh, restore overnight here which is awesome so now i can get these red crystals that i need to unlock the rest of our upgrades and to build the uh, next set of buildings that we've unlocked awesome i'm excited about this uh, we're gonna stay up on the ridge here then and i'm gonna work my way around and just see if i can pick up any more of these resources before we head back i need quite a few of these ravage things so I'm going to get as many seeds as I can come across. And we've got some more uh, wildlife up there of a different kind. That looks uh, kind of silly. Awesome. These little hoppy flower things. Oh no, they're not flower things. There's actual dudes underneath. the. Uh, it's like a leaf uh, tail. Pretty cool. We're getting quite a few of these red crystals around. And as long as we're here, I think what I'm gonna do is feed, oh, this requires nice fodder. Well, I know how to make that, I think, but we haven't made that yet. I think that might've also required some of the sure ravage oil. So I am uh, uh, kind of impressed with just the progression and how you need to use things from a biome in order to progress the biome. 
and get more resources from it. This has been a lot of fun. I'm apparently terrifying the wildlife though. So I'm going to go ahead and jump back down. Uh, I don't really feel like I need more aluminum, but I'm going to grab a couple pieces since it's right here. And we'll head back up to the base and get a set of pots going for these ravager seeds. Now, since gra growth happens at the end of the day, I think I'm going to go ahead and put down some of these plots right now uh, to be able to now, plant the seeds that we've gotten. And let's see here, I'm going to need some wood and fiber, which I should have plenty of. Let me just get rid of these little bushes out of my way. There we go, we're extremely encumbered, which is unfortunate, but we'll deal with our inventory here in a second. I think, if anything, being able to plant some stuff is going to help. And here we go, we've got Ravage Seed selected, so I'll be able to fill at least one plot. And then a little bit more into this one. And then let's go ahead and irrigate this area. I always miss the one. I think I'd learn. We'll air a little bit up that way. Better. All right. Well, now I've got ravages growing. I think we can clean out the inventory and move the time forward and see what we get. All right. I've got uh, as much of my inventory cleaned out as I can, which is not enough to be unencumbered. But we're gonna go ahead and sleep another day here. We did feed one of the meadows nests when we walked by. Didn't probably need to, but whatever. We had a lot of that food in our inventory. Wakey, wakey, partner. The decorating you did yesterday really lit up the place. It's really beginning to feel like a home. And now we've got a whole bunch of stuff grown here. So let's go ahead and grab all of that. There's one of the ravages we've been looking for. Awesome, and I'm hoping that we can get more than one uh, workbench or a, a plot area of ravages going here soon. I feel like I don't actually need that many poly berries. And I'm going to turn around and replant these. This one's already been, oops, mostly watered. go and I don't have any more seeds for that one I'm not gonna bother planting more than one more container of poly berries for the moment eh, maybe we'll just do it all we've got the space and uh, you never know what we're gonna need this stuff for all right but we're only gonna do three of them <laughs> we're out of water okay so we got those crystals for a reason. Let's check and see what that's about. The Merchant Landing. Well, I think a nice place to put the Merchant Landing would be somewhere back here, perhaps? Invalid Slope. Really? There we, we can go. Make good use of this. And then we'll just drop all the materials in here. Good deal wait for the merchant to arrive okay well hopefully that doesn't take too terribly long uh while we wait let's get the vacuum cleaner out and i'm gonna find our little pond here where did it go is it over here we're gonna go find our pond and get uh some water man we are still over encumbered i gotta build some more chests Oh, it looks like our merchant is arriving. Well, I better get back over here and see what they have to do. I need to sell an item. All right. Well, I should have quite a bit of stuff. I've got all these berries in my inventory that we're honestly not using right now. I wonder if I can sell those. It makes sense, right? We're a farmer. We're going to sell our crops. Agra Mechanicals. Hey, what will it be? Um, ooh, they sell stuff too. Oh, look at these ravage seeds. Uh, before I do that though, let me sell for the quest. Oh, look at that. The price is up 62% right now. Well, we might as well sell the whole stack. Wow, almost $2,000. Okay. We'll sell those. And then buy. I can. Ooh. Now, here's some more of the mech parts. I bet that I can. Do 
this and then get some stuff. A bench seems like a cosmetic item. Wheat seeds. I haven't seen wheat seeds yet. Let's buy a stack of those. We need as many of these ravage seeds as I can get. Might as well buy them. They're cheap. And I'm going to get all of these mech carts. We're going to play with the mech customization. And then these are cosmetic items. Why not? We are going to upgrade our farmyard. We will hopefully get to the next level and see what that's all about. Nice choice. All right, that was a lot of goodness. I've got all of these other things that I can plant and do Take things care. with. Uh, thanks for playing. Oh no, is this the end of the demo? Uh, wish list and follow. I've already done that. I've definitely wish listed the game. Oh, escape can exit, so I can keep uh, playing with the stuff that we just bought. Perfect. I was a little nervous there, I won't lie. Uh, upgrade Depot. Let's see what we've got in here now. I'm still waiting on the Ravage Oil, and I need one more Power Core, but now we have these a new Vintage Parts. So let me go ahead and can I spawn all these parts. Uh, we can't. Nope, Construction Zone is blocked. Okay, let's see if I can chuck this out of the way uh, chuck that out of the way and then we'll pick up uh, not that part what parts do I have down I've got arms chuck that chuck that and we'll put these new vintage parts up here there we go it's a little trickier than I'd anticipated uh, where did our new front end go Oh, is this a new windshield? It is. Uh, I'm not sure I swapped that out, actually. Let me get rid of this one. And then... Grab this. Oh, there we go. Alright, yeah, that's looking a little bit different. I like that we're going to be able to change this. I can't wait to see what other things they've got. Uh, lined up for us in the future. There should be a ton of mech customizations, and I'll be honest, this is one of those things that I expect they'll probably monetize. Ooh, there's no bars on my windows. I like it. Um, this is one of those things that I could see them monetizing these extra parts, uh, the customization at some point, maybe, or locking them behind some achievements, maybe. I don't know. I'll be curious to see what they do with it, though. There's definitely potential them to do a few different things. Oh, there's a barn now. Increase the efficiency of crafting constructs built inside. Okay. Whoa, it's huge. Okay. Um, let's see if I can find a place to put this thing. Wow, it's big. Um, part of me wants to have it overlap with the base. Um, uh, hang on. Is there an upgraded house structure? There is not. Okay. I have burlap sacks, though. That's a little bit of a different style. I'm going to put those now down there. Make easier. I wasn't paying attention to see if that increased our uh, house rating. We got a bench, though. Let's put the bench down over here. A parasol. Oh, well, we might as well put a parasol down behind the bench. Um, I need some wood. Oh, we're going to be out of wood, it looks like. Well, I'll finish getting these things slapped down. Ooh, a cart. This thing looks cool. Uh, we'll put the cart right there. What else do we got? Different kinds of fences. We've got the campfire. We've got decorative rocks. Good placement on that one. We're getting closer. Our uh, really feels like you've got a house here. level is going up, I think. I've got lots of rocks, so I can afford to do this. 
new effect animal friend. I need wheat and wood for that and wood for that. All right, well, let's go get some more wood because I'm excited to see this stuff keep going up. It looks like our house is going to cap at level two, though, which is not necessarily a problem. Uh, I expect there'll be better houses available at some point. All right, that's a fair amount of wood. Should be enough to finish these couple of structures out. And I've got all of this ravage seeds that we need to use up here. Oh, the merchant's taken off already. That's fine. We bought everything that looked useful from that merchant. I wonder how often the merchant comes. It's going to be like daily or if there's going to be time delays between. Should be fun to figure out. I need wheat as well. Oh, I ran out of wood. Huh? Oh, that thing took 18. Wow. All right, well, before I get distracted, uh, we've got this one here still waiting for a crop of some kind. So let me put the wheat seeds in here just so that I've got some of everything being grown. And I'm going to go get a few more pieces of wood real quick just to be able to finish off those decorative items. Otherwise, I'll forget about them. There we go. Our bench is looking snazzy. All of our crops are growing. Uh, I just need to water these real quick. There we are. Everything's watered. Let's go ahead and rest for the night. Day nine. I do like the uh, uh, scenery views. I can't stop admiring those nice decorations you built yesterday. You've really got an eye for that kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab all these crops that are ready, and then we need to put down a few more. Uh, the ravages are the big ones because I need a lot of the ravage oil. So I'm gonna make that the priority here. On the back row, I'm going to do the whole back row in Ravages. There we are. And then we will change this. I'm trying to remember how to do that. There we go. And get wheat going in that one. And I ah, will put wheat in this one too. I can live without some Wait, pale berries for a little bit. And while I'm thinking of it, I want to get this Ravage Oil uh, cooking. And it looks like we've got another merchant showing up already. I'm kind of curious to see what differences they have. And we still need to build that barn. We've got uh, quite a few jobs to do here. Let's see, what do Hola. you got? You like? Hot Rod Arm Set. Well, I know I just bought some stuff, but we might as well. And here's another cosmetic nice recipe. Coming right up. I like that you're going to be able to nice get recipes and supplies that you need from the merchants as well. I can't wait to see what kind of things uh, we expand into there for that. Uh, man, hot rod sets, though. Let's go ahead and swap some of those in. I'm kind of curious to see what they're going to look like. I'm guessing that that's going to be the one I've seen online with the flames and such. Uh, let's see, hot rod engine and legs. Oops. There we go. Uh, I like how this looks nice and rounded, but let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna, whoops. Get rid of all that. We'll put that one on. We'll put that one on. And I'm purposefully trying to not take a good look at it till we get it all the pieces together there. And then I need hot rod uh, arms and a windshield. Okay. Oh yeah, look at the flames. Oh, it's gonna look cool. I like it. Set that right there. Add that on. Oops. Add that on. <clears throat> Let's take a look. Oh, it's looking cool. And then if we get into it... Oh yeah, that's a different windshield. You know what? I think I like the other one better. 
Uh, maybe. Mm, we'll keep it. We'll gotta have everything matching for now. Alright, so with all of those shenanigans out of the way, let's go ahead and pick up some of these new oils that are coming out of the press and keep them going. We're getting pretty full here, so I want to make sure we keep our production stuff moving forward. This construction has a chance to produce duplicates while crafting. Oh, very nice. Well, with the Ravage Oil in hand, let me check this. This required wheat. I now have wheat, so we've got that wagon finished. And we needed to build a new thing. Oh, I can build a stack of hay bales or a hay stack. Again, these are decorative. I'm not going to build them all. Some more signs. And we had a barn here. Let's build the barn next. I want it to overlap a little bit with this uh, square that we've got for the house, if I can. I don't know how useful that's going to be, but we're going to find out. I don't think that... You know what? I don't think that it's interacting. I think I'm going to go ahead and just move this back behind the farm just a smidge. We're going to put it... We're going to put it right there, and we're going to test our theory, so... First things first, let's get it built. And the theory is that if I build a bench in this corner that overlaps the house area, will it be able to uh, pull resources from the house uh, chests? And so we're going to find that out by putting this right here. I can't actually... Well, I can get it in there. Um... But it's not drawing an arrow now to it. We'll see. Make things easier. We're short on wood. Of course we are. But I don't think I need all these other benches. So let's go ahead and deconstruct them. And I'm going to bring everything over to the big barn now. The building is not empty. Oh, i got to wait until it's uh, done, apparently. That's okay. I should have the wood necessary to finish building the other one and get it started now. And we remember to put our opening the right way for this one. And let's go ahead and get the rest of these uh, crafting benches set up in here again. I'm going to put the assembler down right over here. And then I'm going to put the fodder oven down in the other corner. Um, which way? I think it goes this way to spit things out. We can make good use of this. Perfect. Now, what I'm also wondering is if I put a chest down inside of the zone, like back in this corner, for example, if I'll be able to pull things out of that chest to do construction in here. That's what I'd really hope. Let's find out here. Uh, we're already spewing things out on the ground over here. Uh, I'm going to finish this chest, add max, and then I'm going to put, say, these 88 plant fibers in that chest. And then when I come in here, nope, it's not going to pull this out. It has to be in my inventory. That's very unfortunate. I wish that uh, they would let me have a shared inventory. Uh, to construct things with. Uh, well, it is what it is. Either way, let's see what upgrades we can unlock now that we've got this Ravage Oil. Uh, we can do the Spike Saw Damage 1 or the Thruster Boost. I'm going to do the Spike Saw Damage because I feel like it's a little bit more useful. And then we'll see if we can get one more Power Core for another Thruster Boost. Because that looks like the end of our upgrade tree. Uh, as it stands right now. I'm going to go ahead and sleep for the night, though. We do have both of these unlocked now that we've gotten a uh, higher level, which is great. Um, I like that mechanic. It's uh, kind of boosting our stats and, and what happens in the area around us as we build out our base. Uh, I love when they encourage you to do stuff like that. World a difference. The best looking ride in the frontier for sure. I am inclined to agree. I think our mech is looking pretty snazzy. Oh, I can do a full 360 turn on it, too. I like that. So, with that, I guess there's only 
two things left for us to do. One is we were looking for these ancient artifacts up here. Uh, and then the other thing that we kind of need to do is get this last upgrade. So I'm going to head back up to this area. We're going to look around, see if I can find any more of those artifacts we were uncovering last episode. And then we'll also keep an eye out on uh, finding some weeds so we can get some more of the noxious stuff and hopefully unlock the last upgrade that we've got here. I can see an artifact up there and one, two of them over there. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into this. I can't wait to analyze this. She's so excited. need to go on foot. Oh, there's one down there too. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna jump out. I think it's gonna actually be easier to get some of these. What a curious object. There's five of nine. I think this beam is a little narrow for us to walk our mech on. So we'll walk up here ourselves. I can't wait to analyze this. This constant balance of, uh, whoops, in and out of the mech. I nice. like it. Fine. More eggs. What's always weird to me, though, there's certain things that you can't pick up, or most things that you can't pick up. I'm gonna have to drop these down to the mech. And then I suppose as long as I was up here, I should continue to walk down this path a little bit farther and make sure there's no more artifacts in here. Nope, but I saw one out of the corner of my eye down in the ruins. Whoops, whoops. We're gonna fall all the way down here. Get this unlocked. There's that. We need one more, one more ruin or artifact, folks. Well, we'll uh, we're gonna get back in the mech and take a look around. Did I find them in here? I think I found one in here already. We did. And then there was uh, another one back there. So we got all the ones out of this cave. Just wanted to make sure. Well, let's get loaded up. We'll pick up our eggs and see if we can find one more of these artifacts. Uh, it's interesting that we've found all of them so far right in this immediate area between the ruins and this ledge. We found a few over here. I think we're gonna come over onto the other side of the doorway here and see if I can find any more. There's gotta be one more. They wouldn't put eight out of nine in the demo and leave us hanging like that, would they? So after looking around for a bit, I was getting ready to turn around and head back to the base and I saw the little sparkle out of the corner of my eye. And here we go, that, the ninth I think artifact. As clear a picture as we're gonna get. So we've explored another Time location apparently. Action. And then we have a new recipe, which is a strange table. Okay. I mean, it's just a decorative uh, item. However, it's always fun to see that we're gonna be able to unlock new recipes by doing some exploration. So let's take our very over-encumbered mech back over to the base, unload some stuff, and uh, see if there's anything else left that we need to do. And as long as we're here, let's go ahead and check this new merchant. It's oh, the I one that was here before. But they have all kinds of uh, items and stuff here to purchase. Oh, that's selling. Let's go to the buying list. Oh, we've got a very interesting uh, pig and right bear topiaries so that we could build Coming those if right we wanted. Up. Might as well get them. And then, oh, we can sort things by uh, category, so that'll be useful in the future. Let me right grab up. that one. Alright, alright, it's cool. We've got lots of stuff going on here, and I like this merchant system. Uh, I hope that the things that we can buy there kind of stay towards supplies and uh, decorative items. I would hate to miss an important recipe because we weren't paying attention to stuff coming in. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and load that up just to get some stuff out of the inventory here. Might as well. And with all of our inventory dumped out, I don't really have a need to grow any of these materials right this minute. Uh, I'm really looking for the last two upgrade things, I guess, would be this strange table. Uh, we didn't really plant the hedges and stuff. These are all decorative. This is a decorative item. Really, it seems like the last thing to do would be that one upgrade that we didn't get, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm not sure where we get the weeds necessary for that. Uh, I'm going to walk back over to the... Um, watch my jigger over here uh, with the technology and just see if that has anything new to offer now that we've unlocked a couple of zones. This looks promising as well. I don't think I've been up here. I'll jump across that little gap. Oh, and it's locked for the demo. Of course, not surprising. We'll head on back to... Uh, we'll head back to the base. We'll rest until it's daytime, and then we'll go check at that technology spot and probably have to wrap up the demo here. It looks like we've done all that there is to do. Day 11. <clears throat> yeah, no uh, like a good night's rest. Remember additional to unlocks. That has become fully grown today. No use in waiting for that sweet reward any longer than needed. Yeah, we have no need for the crops right now. I was kind of hoping by leaving them there, we'd get another one of those uh, weed events where the weed things drop down from the sky. I don't think this is the way we went last time. I think I'm getting sidetracked. But if I follow this back here far enough, maybe it connects. Maybe there's another cave or something here. I'm not really sure. Let's find out. Uh, a whole lot of dead end. Interesting. Large green tree. Let's see what that's about. We weren't able to cut these large trees down before. Ooh, that has hardwood. Well, that is actually a, a bunch of new recipes. We've got a barrel option. We've got a birdhouse. A log rack. I love that there's so many decorative items available. And that's going to be necessary for upgrading your base. So, not really complaining. It's a, it's a neat mechanic to force you to have a little bit of the upgrade mechanics uh, being thought about and building a base out for more than just 100% functional purposes. Force you to stop and enjoy the sights a little bit. I just saw that the merchant is back. We're gonna keep moving though and I'll circle back to that merchant after we check on this door again and see if we get any other interesting dialogue from uh, approaching that. Am I going the right way? I am. So here we are. We've got a now, third on part on of the door unlocked. The energy readings are spiking right now. Could, could this place have been activated somehow? Hmm. But it looks like it's got a bit more to go. Whatever we've been doing around here, let's keep doing it. So that's fun. There's going to be a little bit of a story-driven elements here to try and get this door open and find out what's behind here. That'll be a uh, very interesting uh, set of reasons to kind of go and hit some different areas in this biome. And then as you can see, there's the edge of the demo again. Very nice. All right, well, in that case, we were not able to find yeah, the last item I need. Keep working at it. I don't know what this bug fossil is. New resource. Didn't unlock anything that we can build with, though. And it just looks like maybe it's something to sell because it's worth quite a bit of money. All right, well, unfortunately, I didn't find any more weeds, but we did do quite a bit in the demo here. I think we've uncovered everything there is to uncover. Let's go check this merchant one more time, and we'll wrap things up. 
got Lola's Agro Mechanicals again. And we can get a normal table, right up. a chair, and a round table. Nice so just lots of cosmetics. Nothing uh, special there. That uh, bug fossil sells for a lot, but uh, I think we're going to save it. Like. Don't uh, have any particular need for more resources at the moment. And as I've already said, I think we're pretty well done now exploring uh, this area. All these other sections seem to be locked off for the demo. And yeah, it's exciting. And uh, you can see the prediction for when the merchant comes, which items are going to be worth money and are they going to go up or down. I like it. There's a whole lot going on with this game other than just the simple exploration and farming. So far, I would say uh, definitely approved for me. I'm looking forward to seeing this release uh, in March here, I believe, and checking out what else is going to be available in the early access launch. If you liked uh, today's video, if this game looks interesting to you, uh, make sure to go wishlist the game. Helps the developers out quite a bit. And uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. It helps me out quite a bit. That's all for today. Ketterk out.